alligator. Ah, ah. For materials used, I found these two drawer plastic containers at Dollar Tree. With two drawers each, I needed 13 to make for all 26 letters of the alphabet. Also from Dollar Tree are the foam alphabet letter puzzles, one in uppercase and one in lowercase. You want about four to five items or pictures for each letter drawer. You'll also need an alphabet printable in uppercase and lowercase. Additionally, I used scissors, a paper cutter, tape, and not pictured, I used craft glue. The first step is to arrange your containers in the order you would like to display them. Then cut out your printed alphabet letters. I found a freebie printable online, it'll be linked down below. To the inside of the drawer, I stuck a uppercase and lowercase letter with invisible tape. The next step is the one that is the most time consuming. You want to look around your home for about four to five items for each drawer represent the phonetic sound for every letter of the alphabet. Remember, you are going by the phonetic beginning sound. So for example, phone. The first letter in phone is the letter P, but the phonetic sound for P is P, P, as in penguin. Therefore, a phone would not be correct to put into the drawer. I used some of our Safari LTD figures Barbie accessories, I used puzzles, Play-Doh molds, and other random household items like caps, buttons. Personally, I also feel it's important to balance it out with nonfiction, so I printed realistic images and laminated them. You'll also notice in each drawer I included a physical letter form, the foam letter puzzle, in each upper and lower case. The plastic containers are from Dollar Tree, as I mentioned, but at least for my local Dollar Trees, these are only available right now with spring season. My final step was to glue some containers together. I glued them in two sets, one stacked on top of the other. Gluing them stacked one on top of the other is just to prevent the container from sliding when my child opens and closes the drawer door. To glue the containers together, I used a craft glue. You can also use another strong bonding adhesive such as E6000 glue and you can find that at your local craft store or Dollar Tree. This glue does dry clear and it took about 12 hours to dry or overnight. In my opinion, hot glue would not work well with this project. Lumpy. All right, Bella, what letter are you pulling out? G. G, okay. Oops. Let's see. Uppercase. Is that uppercase or lowercase? Lowercase. Down, uppercase. Uppercase. What sound does G make? G, g, gorilla. Good. G -g gorilla and what's that? G -g guitar. 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 That's an instrument, right? Yeah. G -g goat. G -g 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 grapes. What letter is that? M, M is lowercase. 
lowercase m. M, m. Right. And what letter is this? Uppercase. Uppercase m. 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 That's right. M, m. Milk. M. Metal. M, m. Metal. Like, mm -hmm. remember when Ailani won her medal? Yeah. M, m. Metal. Mm hmm. Marble. <laughs> what sound does D make? Duh, duh. Good. So this is uppercase. Uppercase D. That's right. And what letter is that? B lowercase D. Mm -hmm. duh, duh, dog. Uppercase W. Do we have? Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Wo wo wolf. A wolf. Wolf means blow the house. Right, and the three little pigs. Yeah. Three little pigs love the house. Wo wo water bottle. Wo wo watermelon. Wh wh whistle. 